Okay, Drake here, not wearing a suit. I really should be wearing my suit in this vlog. I think it looks cuter and probably should. If I had a place of my own, I'd probably do that. Maybe even at the office. Oh, I don't have an office. So this is the closest I'm going to get, just wandering around and trying to do the fun things of life and looking at other ways of improving. But we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, this is the vlog 5... May, this is May 20th, 2024, and uh, just got back from a, uh, at my friend in Lake Elsinore working on his, uh, his uh, I guess, burner bike and stuff like that, which is kind of cool that he's doing all that stuff. I'm going to help him with more LEDs, and hopefully maybe this weekend I might finish up toddling all those jumpers and Doing that real fast, but whatever we'll do, we'll get the job done, and we'll get the job done quick, fast, and hopefully it looks snazzy enough to uh, qualify something crazy, but I'm just moving on, trying not to push too much time onto it, because I don't like to do too much volunteer work. I really should be doing volunteer work, because it's always so satisfying, but, and I might help put myself up to do more volunteer work, but work is setting these deadlines that are like, wait a minute, you set a deadline that I didn't wasn't aware, I thought it was waiting on me, and I was going through my notes and trying to find out what, where heads or tails, where things are, because things get moved around when you move from one system to another system to another system. Things will always get moved around, and I'm going to have to go through stuff to figure out where did those systems go, how do they operate, how do they interconnect, all these things. As a matter of fact, I might even just do a raw dump and reload and then upgrade the system that way because this way I'm not dealing with all this bullshit data that's actually kind of screwing me up, actually, now I think about it. So I'm going to have to try something different. But that's just me rambling about work things, and I don't know how work ethics is, but I'm not terribly big on corporate life, so... I miss Orbit being the 25th user back in 2008. 2012 was the turning point when they try to hire other people, but skills and merits usually, and I guess the cost of work then was better, but I also almost went broke by 2016. Remember, uh, um, I had to pay off every penny of my student loan, pay every penny of my car note, and uh, now learning, looking back, if I had and go to all these fun things and adventures, I probably would have saved myself enough money that I could have probably put a down payment and by 2020 got in a house during the lockdown or some sort of property. And uh, of course, I'd be having to work for Orbit even harder, but at least there's some place I can sleep into and maybe change and say, you know what, I'm just going to stay here and start slowly move a little at a time. But right now, with security and all this other stuff, I'm, it's not the computer gear that I'm worried about that's kind of junk. It's the stuff that's unique and artistic to me that's like, really hard to get rid of because they're milestones. And I keep even old computers that I don't even want to throw. I have a tablet that I really could toss. It's useless, but it was one of my first tablets I've ever gotten back at the time that predates just about anything you buy today, artistically or just for show and tell. That's why I kind of missed that era. My family moved to a bigger house. They sectioned 1032 it, which I guess improved their life. And uh, being that they're more from the investor background, I guess the question is, would you take 10, grand, 10, 10, 10 million now or go back to being six with all the knowledge you have now? I said, I'd go back to being six because then I could do over everything and do it over the way that I want to do it again. But at the same time, that's how you do. You gain experience and knowledge, and the more things you do, you get more. But it's a trade-off. If you work an office job for 20 freaking years, you don't gain anything other than how the company operates. So then you get retired. That's why some people like me is burnt out by 20 years, and I don't want to be building someone else's property I don't own. So unless somehow I can get a house or get something along the way, that I can start off with, let's say, call it Drake's Lair, and then maybe once a week have a friend over, once a month a party, or something to alleviate that what I'm doing is more than just turning, making numbers in a bank account. Because that is to the point where it's just, what good is money if you can't spend it? At the same time, 
it's good you can save it and invest it, which is actually kind of good. I mean, but everyone hates investors because they're not relying on Uncle Sam, which is welfare. And uh, I'm not expecting welfare, and I've been hearing Social Security might run out soon. And if it runs out, that's going to screw us over because those of us who are paying in a fortune to it. I mean, would you want $16,000 in my taxable per year? And the good news, I get paid well. The bad news is I'm going to be working until I'm dead if I live, if I make it, barely make it past 45. I mean, after 45, majority of the people I would have known is long gone or on their way out. And people that are in their 50s will be in their 60s, so they may not even want to do the same thing they're doing now. Um, do I take it right now and enjoy it, or do I actually just keep holding up and keep building up? Because that's what's ticking me off in my daily life. I like doing things with these guys, but they got no money. And they claim they got no money. It's bullshit, but whatever. Because you need maintenance on everything. And some of us knows how to make fix it one time and not have to do it over and over. But then again, if you do it over and over, that's job security. See? See? Now I'm beginning to wonder how corporate life is. And corporate life is, it's a balance between job security and employer while a single sole proprietorship life is about trying to find a deal and hopefully you'll find a job that's worth for at least one or two years, maybe five or ten year bonuses, which is why I'm actually now more into doing those type of projects, maybe doing profit sharing, because at least um, I can put an effort into doing it right, tailoring to the customer, and then maybe post support, and then as the time passes, you find new customers and new adventures. Um, the downside of doing that is that you don't have consistent income. And in order to get consistent income is you'd have to have a big bank or something along that lines to hire employees, yada, 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 then you incorporate. And that's the same story all over again. So that's why some people do the way they think they do it. But someone like me, we prefer to keep things simple at least. Work used to be fun when I had my own office. That was great. It's all nice that it was decked out. Then they moved me to the other side, which was already a blow to what I ever wanted to see. And I kept asking, will I get another office? No, you'll get a shared office. Shared office. They're out of space. Okay, fine. That's a good excuse. They're building the big guy his own office. And uh, they may be moving more people around. And obviously, some people left the company, which is an opportunity. No, I still need another one. Whatever it is. Okay. I'm not going to mess with this. Not going to fight with this. It's not my company. I don't know it. So, I'm going to be working on other projects in the background, as I always do, and uh, hopefully those will take off. If they don't take off, you know what? I'm getting to, to a point where I can't get attached to my work anymore and just keep moving on because the biggest thing that ticks me off is, you know, work was fun when it was fun. Now it's Got to meet this deadline. And I just finished a big project not too long ago. So I'm debating whether I'm doing some coding tonight and then releasing the code in the morning or do some research tonight or go focus on two of my other projects, which I should just focus on and then work on Orbit project. And my rule is two personal projects for one Orbit project. This way I can pace myself and get most of my stuff done. That's the golden rule now. Anyhow, there's my 10-minute rant. And uh, again, May 20th. Hopefully, I'll have a better adventure next week. Uh, maybe my friend's house if I get back there.